Well, uh, good morning, folks. I hope you are watching this while you're drinking your Sunday coffee. I want to make a very quick video about these chick hits before I run out of them because I'm not going to be buying any more of them. And I do want to add them to my playlist of JDM jig hits. If you are interested in micro jig hits for ultralight fishing, check out my playlist in the description. But this jig hit today, the vendor is ODZ. Uh, it's a Japanese vendor. It's a new vendor to me, but I like new things, and the name of the jig head is Rush Jig Head. I'm probably missing some something here in uh, Japanese. But uh, right to the point, so what I like is the hook. The hook is 10 out of 10 in my books. Okay, I, I don't care if there is a better hook out there. Uh, the extent to it to which it will be better, it won't matter. This this hook is perfectly sharp, the color is perfect, the shape is perfect, even the size of the eyelid here is also perfect. So if you attach a micro swivel or something, or some kind of loop, it, it can swivel here. So the hook is 10 out of 10, the barb is 10 out of 10 also. It does have a small micro barb. Focus, we're not gonna focus. So, perfect hook. The reason why I don't like this and I'm not gonna buy any more is this funny head here. First of all, there is some cut. Well, the depth of this cut and where it is over here, I don't believe that even the other cuts do anything but this cut will definitely not do anything. So this is just decorative, definitely not gonna do anything. The other thing is, the color is too bright, man. This can spook some shy fish. I understand it's not painted, but lead is usually a darker gray color. This is the color of lead when you, when you pour lead in your garage. You know how it's always shiny. But when you buy lead from the store, it's not shiny. So I don't know why this is so shiny. If you need shiny, if you want chrome color, fine. But I don't like, I don't like so shiny. Crappy, in my opinion, are very spooky fish. So before I, uh, before I use mine, I always uh, dip the heads in some kind of, you know, black color, and. When I'm done with this video, I have five jig heads left. I will go and paint those two. So I don't like the color. I don't like this uh, shape of the jig head. But what bothers me the most is, oh my, this phone is just terrible at focusing, is look where the head is attached to the hook. Look how the eye is not exactly in the middle of the head but closer to that side of the of, of the hook so when you suspend the hook if you want to use it for float fishing and you and you suspend it like this well you're not gonna see this either i guess you're gonna have to believe me but what happens is the hook is a little bit upward. This is without a bait. If you just if you just suspend it without a bait, because this size on, on, on the weight on this size of the eyelet is heavier than the rest of the hook because that's that's how it's attached. So this hook is no good for float fishing because all of the baits that I use, or all of the baits that you will use, are either neutral buoyancy or even slightly buoyant actually. So you don't want your hook when you put it, when you suspend it, to be like this. This is just not aerodynamic, it's, it's not easy to swallow, it's not good. So these jig heads, of course, if you cast and retrieve, then it doesn't matter, then it's fine. Uh, so keep in mind, if you are buying these, the hook is amazing, 
but you you probably gonna have to dip them in black color unless you like the chrome color but I don't like this chrome color but so you probably have to paint them but most likely you will have to cast and retrieve them and then the weights that they are offered are kind of too light for casting I got only uh, most of I had five packs most of them were one gram and the rest was 0 0.8 gram so you're not gonna cast very far with this with you know one gram and you're not gonna fish very deep if, if you have to fish more than you know six eight feet deep you're gonna have to wait for this thing to fall a long time so keep in mind if if you're interested in this buy the heaviest ones that you find because you're gonna you're gonna have to cast them and the last thing is they're not that cheap they're like I don't know four and a half five dollars that's before any kind of shipping so I mean there is already plenty of hooks uh, of jig heads uh, Japanese jig heads uh, three three and a half dollars so I don't see why I should buy these more expensive ones when I don't like the shape of the head I don't like how the hook is suspended and I I don't like this long cylindrical shape I prefer a shorter head that is kind of a ball so it actually looks like a head so this long cylinder makes makes my lures too long I don't know this is subjective uh, you might not find this a problem but I don't like the shape of the head I don't like the balance of the head otherwise the hook like I said is 10 out of 10 so if you think you can use this for some other purpose keep in mind the hook is absolutely perfect the wire is very thin it will bend out if you get it snagged and you're using heavier line like four pound four pound will be enough to bend out this wire but the hook is absolutely perfect so that's all I, I I'm, I'm gonna say in this video I do want to keep it short Thanks for watching uh, this one to the end and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Daiwa Presso, Daiwa Legalis 1000 and a trout magnet 5000. Three feet under the surface. We'll start there and we'll go deeper.